Rock it and roll it. Roll it and rock it. Get and roll it. Good morning, guys. You can't probably see me. I'm kind of awkwardly vlogging out in public by myself. I haven't done this in a while. Um, so yeah, it is really early. It's 8:20 a.m. I got up at like quarter to seven which is ridiculously early for me <laughs> but I'm going to Jolie Rouge today which is a tattoo studio in London for Keely Rutherford's um, charity day for the charity Mind it's in honour of her mum and um, I'm really excited um, I'm really excited I've definitely got the intention of being tattooed today <laughs> I shouldn't like I'm dipping into savings now but like what can you do so I'm about to eat a croissant I'm so hungry like starving I've already had a chocolate muffin like a big chocolate muffin but I've got a feeling there's gonna be kind of quite a bit of a queue so I'm gonna be waiting around a lot today but that, that's cool that's fine and yeah I'm really excited you guys so I'm just on the train I'm so excited there is a potato family member there already um, so that's exciting but she said there's no queue <laughs> so we might have overjudged this I mean it is still <laughs> It's 8.35 <laughs> um, So yeah, it's still early, it doesn't start for another hour and a half Well, the shop doesn't open for another hour and a half So yeah, there'll probably be a queue by the time I get there It's going to take me at least 45 minutes to get there Alrighty guys, I just got off the tube at Caledonian and now I'm going to walk. I think it takes like five minutes to get there. But I'm excited. Apparently there's a little bit of a queue now, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm the next person with the tattoo artist that I've chosen, but they have to use the bed to design, it's awful. So yeah, it's going well. I've met um, a potato family member, Charlotte. Hey girl. She's getting tattooed like right now, so that's exciting. I can't wait to see what she got. I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, I basically just ate a sandwich and crisps well quickly and I'm going back to the studio. My appointment, well it's not an appointment obviously, but my rough time to be tattooed is 2 o'clock which is in 14 minutes. So I'm going to make my way back to the studio from this park. I have no idea where I am in London right now. <laughs> I only walked a little bit. But yeah, it's going well. The studio is just so nice. Everyone working there is so friendly and just so sweet and I'm living for it honestly. Oh, Liam's ringing me. I better go. Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago did I get tattooed? Four hours ago. No, three hours. Four hours? What? Oh yeah, it's like half seven. I think... Yeah. It, what time did it start? Finished at like half four. No, because I started at half three. No, you didn't. You no, I didn't. started at half two. I started at half two. The tattoo took two hours. <laughs> um, yeah, I got tattooed. I got a cat face on the back of my... What do you call this thing? Like ankle, calf area. I'm not going to lie, it was a bit painful. But I got sensitive legs where I shave my legs and... I like go to town on them when I'm that itchy, <laughs> don't I? Yeah. I, I use a hairbrush. Itch for days. I, yeah, I use a hairbrush to itch my legs so they're well sensitive because I kind of scratch them a lot. Yeah, I don't know how to show people. How can I show? This ain't gonna work, is it? <laughs> Hello. That's well upside done. down and there's no light. <laughs> yeah, what do you like? Hang on, I think I've done it. That's not gonna help. Is it helping? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so what happened? We went to, Chiquitos. once I was done, yeah, we went to Chiquitos because I was hungry and Liam's never been to Chiquitos before, so we took his virginity. And then we got a little bit lost walking around. What even was that? Soho? 
what was it called? West End? I don't know. But we're now near Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is over there somewhere. Yeah, I will make a video about the whole experience and stuff afterwards because I feel like this video isn't that long. Um, it was kind of hard to film in there because I don't want to invade anyone's... <laughs> I thought that was a dying pigeon. <laughs> I, don't know I what thought that a was. pigeon went in. There's a trash thing and it sounded like a pigeon it literally just got squashed. Oh my god, that's ruthless. Hey guys, it is Sunday. I thought I would, you know, end the vlog properly. I don't think I ended it too well. On Saturday, I didn't want to leave it how I left it type thing. So I wanted to say a few things before I sort of sign off, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yesterday was a blast. Honestly, it was so fun. Um, I just wanted to say a quick, I'm pretty sure I already said it in my vlog. I haven't edited yet, so I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I took mention to how lovely everyone was at the studio. Just like anyone that worked there was so friendly, so nice, so sweet, and they were probably under not a lot of pressure, but there were so many people in the studio, and they're probably not too used to that. I would say it's quite a small studio, and there's just people everywhere, and like if I was working in that environment, I would be so stressed. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. But everyone was so friendly, so nice, like everyone, the people that were in there getting tattooed, and the people behind the like reception desk and the tattoo artists and people helping out they were just so friendly so nice it was so lovely I, yeah i got tattooed i'm pretty sure i mentioned that i couldn't film it unfortunately though just because of the location of the tattoo it's behind me pretty much if that makes sense so i was laying on a one of those massage bed type things and it would have been impossible and there was no way liam could come downstairs and you know help film or anything just because there just wasn't any room like there was six artists working that day but i think only five could tattoo at a time just because it was quite small and stuff so i'm gonna do a proper full-on video about the whole experience like i'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys from like beginning middle and end and the process and how you go about a charity tattoo day because this was my first one so i wasn't sure what to expect so at least i can tell you guys what you might expect it might be different per studio and stuff like that but i'll tell you guys my experience um i'll try and get that video out as soon as possible i highly recommend going to a charity day because all the money goes to charity like i paid 180 pound for my tattoo all of that is going to charity i would love to know how much they raised because a lot of people got tattooed a lot of people and there was merch there was cupcakes there was donations there was everything like oh, it, like something like this is so cool because I've said this in a video before where I say that a lot of tattoo artists a lot of tattoo studios get looked down on because they're like scarring people and they're hurting people and it's a sin but they just do so much like they've probably raised oh, thousands of pounds yesterday and it's just like no like tattoo artists and tattoo studios are just so awesome and they do so much for people and yeah it was such a great day <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to the Just Giving page for Keely just down below if you guys want to donate or anything because I know a few of you guys said that you wanted to go but you couldn't so if you've got like a couple of pound and you feel like donating um so yeah I'm gonna quickly insert a picture of my new tattoo here um it was done by Manny she was so so sweet and oh my god her style was amazing and honestly I just obsessed um so yeah she did a great job on my cat tattoo I've got Saladerm on it now if anyone cares. I think that's all I can say. If you've got any questions, actually, let's do that. If you've got any questions about like a charity day or how it all works and stuff like that, comment down below and I'll include your answers or I'll include your questions and your answers in my video about the charity tattoo day. But yeah, I'll do a video on the whole like the whole spiel. Yeah, sorry I didn't film too much. It was a case of I didn't want to have my camera out too much. I didn't want to I didn't want to make anyone feel comfortable because sometimes when people see a camera they're like, oh god no, what's this? And um my camera's kind of it's not obnoxious, but I've got this like tripod thing hanging off of it and I, I don't know. It can be kind of scary I guess. And oh another thing when I um come out of the studio someone sort of run over to me and was like oh are you treacle tats and I'm like yeah hi and I gave her a hug and we spoke and stuff and she'd just been to the studio and she said she noticed my tattoos before anything else like she's like I recognize those tattoos um but I didn't ask her name and I always ask people's name like always see I remember everyone's name this is so <laughs> I met Ashley and Alina Sarah and then Charlotte she was at the Jolie Rouge charity event and then this girl that come up to me and I just didn't ask her name and I 
always try and ask people's names they were all like I know you like I've seen you in my Facebook group or whatever like I knew Charlotte's name but she, I didn't ask her name so if you were there and you run up to me please tell me your name because I feel so bad that I didn't ask your name or anything well I asked her like about the charity event and like if she got tattooed and stuff I just didn't ask her name and I feel so bad <laughs> so if that was you please comment down below I want to know you <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you leave your questions down below and I'll try and answer them in a video about the whole thing and until my next video, bye.